hello and welcome to the Goblin Puppy Halloween Special. Yeah! Let me tell you, Martha Stewart ain't got nothing on this sh This video is a combination of just stuff I was up to in October and extra special spooky stuff. I have a show that's three days long, all day. My biggest craft show ever, and I am terrified. Boy, oh boy, I'm freaked out. I've been crafting like a mad woman. I'm gonna show you all the stuff I'm making. I just made these yesterday. Not quite sure what it is. I was thinking maybe it was a bean, like a magic bean, but it kind of looks like a worm. I also made more keychains. I honestly don't care about these. I just want to make more of these. I also made more lucky eggs. This is really satisfying to look at, not gonna lie. We got more slugs. You know what's up. You know what's up. I went back to making the slugs the old fashioned way. We got some over here too, just drying. The goal was to make 85 slugs. I have maybe 50, so not too bad. I really don't know how much stock to bring. I'm making as much shit as I possibly can, and if I have leftovers, doesn't matter. The thing I am most excited for, I bought a lot of new display items for this particular market. It's indoor and it's like, feels very professional. There are a lot of guidelines. But I've always wanted a super huge banner, and I finally bought one! This is as much as I'm showing you because it's so big I cannot show you the whole thing. It's mandatory to have a rug at this event. They give you an option that you can rent a rug from their company, but renting a rug for the three days was going to be $200. You're telling me I gotta spend this money on a rug? Why would I pay that much for something that I can't keep? Huh? You telling me I can't keep this? So then I went on rug.com and I bought a rug for $170 that I can keep. And other things I also had to buy. New tablecloths because they needed to be professionally pleated. Check this out. Do you remember in my last video when I had 100 slugs that were all sticky? Yep. You put the sticky slug in a jar and glue it shut. You glue it all together. And if you open it, the slug dies. I love how the tags came out.
Hello and welcome back to the Goblin Puppy Halloween Special 2024. What's a Halloween special without a scary story? I love ghosts. I love paranormal stuff. So I'm gonna tell you my scariest paranormal story here today. The story begins in 1998 when I discover that I fucking hate pants. Fast forward, it's now 2017. I still fucking hate pants. Jeans? Ugh! Jeggings? I'm no stranger to a pair of jeggings. But in 2017, I discover American Eagle. It's pretty underground. I'm not sure if you've heard of it. It is a crisp evening. 2017, I walk into this American Eagle. I lock eyes with these jeggings. Beautiful. They're not just any jeggings. They have buttons pockets, belt loops. They got all the fixins of regular jeans, yet they are jeggings. So what do I do? I buy three different colors of the same pair of pants, right? If you are somebody who also hates clothes, I'm sure you're no stranger to buying the same item of clothing in every color. It's how you gotta do it. So I buy a camouflage pair, a blue pair, and then another color, I really don't remember because I ended up dyeing it brown and then it turned like fuchsia. It was weird. Anyways, I buy three colors of pants. It is now a week later. I'm getting ready to go over my friend's house. We're gonna film YouTube sketches and play Mario Kart. I haven't worn any of these pants yet. So I am deciding, making the important decision, which pair of pants am I gonna wear? They sit neatly folded in front of me. I pick up the blue ones, I say, ugh. Maybe. The camouflage? Maybe. The other ones? No. Tension is high between the blue and the camo pair. I decide to go with the blue ones and save the camo for another day. Charlotte has now joined us for this scary story. It's okay. So, I'm at my friend's house. We film a sketch where I'm serving Cheez-Its to like a fancy dinner or something. I also cannot find the sketch anywhere on YouTube now. You just have to trust me that it happened. At some point during the shoot, I put a cheese it in my pocket. Not sure why, maybe I found it on the floor and thought it's better in my pocket than on the floor. We continue with the day and I completely forget about the cheese it in my pocket. Okay, fast forward once again. It's probably a week later. I'm going out on the town, bro. Time to break in a new pair of pants. I now have two pants to break in, perfectly folded in the drawer that I left them. I pull out the two perfectly folded, unworn pairs of pants. I decide, yeehaw, it's time for the camo pair. So then I put the pants on and something feels weird. Something feels strange. I think there's something in the pocket. Maybe one of those air freshener packets? I think I have some around here. Oh! The do not eat packet of mysterious substance. Silica gel? Commonly found in the pockets of new pants. I reach into the pocket of my new jeans. 
I don't find a do not eat silica gel packet. I find a cheese it. I find a cheese it. There's a cheese it in the pocket of my new pants. I think surely there's some mistake here. And then I remember a week prior putting a cheese it in my pocket. Oh, duh. The cheese it has just been in here for like the whole week and I just forgot about it. But these pants. I swear, I did not wear the camo pants to my friend's house. At first I laugh, and then the laughter fades into fear. Who put this fucking cheese it in my pocket of the pants that I've never worn before? But then I remember the YouTube video. Holy freaking smokes. This is how I'm gonna find out. I open YouTube to see if my friend uploaded the video that we shot that day. He did! Holy shit! Let's do this. My finger's on the trackpad. Let's see which pants I was really wearing. Eyes pressed against the screen, watching intently. I'm barely breathing, and then I see it. I see it! The pants! I was wearing the blue pants! I was wearing the blue pants. I was wearing the blue pants. I put a cheese it in the pocket of my blue pants. Why did I just now find a cheese it in the pocket of the camouflage American Eagle jeggings that I had just put on for the first time? You know, cheese its are pretty crusty, pretty oily. The pocket of these camouflage pants had like little cheese it crumbs, like little oily cheese it crumbs, like it had been in there for a whole week. The conclusion that I've sat with all these years is that on that day in 2017, I jumped a timeline. I was not supposed to have the video evidence to prove that I was in fact wearing the blue pair of pants on that day. I was just supposed to gaslight myself and say, yeah, I was probably just wearing the other ones. It was a funny little mix-up. And also the fact that I can no longer find this video is also very interesting. There's no evidence of this happening anymore, so now I'm gaslighting myself thinking you are probably severely iron deficient, hallucinating. But I know in my deepest downs of the uh, deepest that there was a timeline jump mix-hat, perhaps the cheese it I do not know how the cheese it ended up in the pocket that it did. Tell me how this happens. Has something like this happened to you? Have you ever put a cheese it in your pocket and it ends up in a pocket of a different pair of pants? Is this a common phenomenon? Let me know in the comments what you think of this story. It's unsolved. It's going back in the X-Files for some other person to figure out and worry about. Back to the special. The truth is out there. Keep your eyes peeled, check your pockets. portrait commission. It's my biggest one ever. It's like two by two feet. I asked the person who gave me the commission which one they liked better and they said this one. Blue background. 